Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 8 of WCW World Trust Wrestling. And it is the last episode before Chester Mania, which will happen on Saturday, the 26th of March. Uh, I meant to do a WrestleMania weekend, but I actually started this stuff a bit too early, so that's right. And hey, we're in Daytona Beach, Florida. That's gorgeous. I did 2500 there last month. All right. We got some great matches for you, including our main event to determine who will face Seth Rollins for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania. Finn Balor and Samoa Joe will go one on one. Both of these men have been on a roll. As of recently. And, um, folks, it is such a great honor to be part of this, this show, part of this match. This is going to be a heck of a main event. We also have our, um, tag team championship tournament to determine who will face the Hardy Boys at Chesamania, and that's the Usos versus the Revival. Such a great looking match there. Can the Usos can the Usos um, show the world once again why they are the greatest, or will the Revival Sneak out another win. I don't know how this one's going to end up. Revival's been kind of sneaky about the wins, but they're facing the Usos. I can imagine this is going to be a fight. We also have a very interesting uh, Fatal 4 way match here. Uh, Titus O'Neil, Mojo Wally, the Brian Kendrick. Not Brian Kendrick, the Brian Kendrick, as in the. Ohio State University, not Ohio State University, THE Ohio State University, and THE Brian Kendrick, and Johnny Gargano. <laughs> I do not like going for about Brian, uh, THE Brian Kendrick. <laughs> Wait, that's, that's how you say it, people. You gotta say it with the word THE. So we got Tennis with Neil Wally, THE Brian Kendrick, and Johnny Gargano in Fatal 4-Way. Uh, making their first appearances for WCW. Just a little fun match I decided to put in here. And, um, we have a very interesting tag match in the show. Uh, recently, Kevin Owens, he's been kind of, in an interview, he told us how, hey, this whole, I mean, yeah, you got respect for it, and I'm just sick and tired of all of it. The big show said, hey, I'm sick and tired of this too. In fact, we we need to have a match people will like. So how about WrestleMania? We got one on one against each other, and they do. And so they will. Big Show and Kevin Owens will go one on one against each other at WrestleMania. And right now, they're facing the Big Show. I mean, they're facing the B team. Chris Axel and Bo Dallas in a two and two match. And. Um, but kick things off. Folks, I told you about that ladder match that we were going to have at WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar, John Cena, The Rock, Edge, and Bill Goldberg. Five-way ladder match. Winner of that ladder match wins a WCW contract. Well, in this match, we got a big tag team match. Kick things off. John Cena and The Rock versus Edge and Goldberg. And that is going to be a heck of a match. Could be a main event anywhere. This starts right here, right now. Whew. Alright. The Brahma Bull himself, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, multi-time WWE champion, 
one of Hollywood's most famous stars. Oh, he's got some beef with Joe Rogan. Uh, in recent months. I'm not going to get too deep in that. Oh, uh, Dwayne. He's such an awesome wrestler. He, he's got... So, he brings so much to the table. And let me tell you, he, he's always hard to stop. He just... He's a fire is what he is. The Brahma Bull, they call him. And Bull is right. Um, and he, he's just... Got to nev never say die attitude. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he wins uh, that ladder match. That yeah, Chessamania. Oh, the fans love him. They do. Man. Dwayne Johnson making an appearance for the fans. So, all oh, you yeah, guys, there's us infamous smolder. <laughs> whoa, 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 dude, whoa, whoa, dude. Oh, dude, deep breath, Terry, deep breath. No, not Marie. Oh, yeah, I think his name is Terry. And, uh, the new Jumanji movie. I'll just try to do that scene. Hopefully, I don't get copyrighted for that. <laughs> <laughs> don't freeze on me. Please don't freeze. Oh, the fans over there. You think they stood up for Dwayne Rock Johnson? They stood up for this guy as well. Yes, sir. John Cena, Mr. Never Say Die. Never give up. Hustle World to respect the franchise of WWE. Oh, man. Why is it John Cena reminds me of Rob Gronkowski? I'll tell you, those guys like, are similar to me. But John Cena, he is one of the reasons WWE's been so popular. He is. He's no joker ring. He's a wrestler. And he's just. Them tying up with Dwayne Johnson. They've had a pair of matches at WrestleMania's. At WrestleMania shows. And they are just. You can bet they're glad to be tagging together in this match. Just. Edge and Bill Goldberg. Uh, John's happy to be here. It's going to be interesting to see what he'll bring to the table tonight, that's for sure. Oh, uh, we all love that guy. We do. What? Control. Alright, sorry about that. Nope. John Dwayne, they look ready to talk things out. How are they playing to win this match tonight? And we got the Royal Royal Superstar Edge coming out right now. One of Canada's favorite superstars. There's one thing about Edge, he brings to the table another. The other four competitors don't bring this grit. It's toughness. Edge is one of those guys, he's just... It is hard to keep him down. And... He is a bit of a hardcore guy. He doesn't let anybody slow him down. He just keeps it away does best. He is just... Oh, man. Just savoring this, he is. Don't freeze on me, please. And your opponent, you know, his teammate is one I'm somewhat fond of myself. Oh, I love this intro. of a man. 
Bill Goldberg, former Atlanta Falcons football player. And he is just a powerhouse of a man. And um, if I have an edge, I am glad to have Bill Goldberg on my side. Uh, Bill's fired up. He's ready to wrestle. He's always fired up away. He's just... And now all four of these wrestlers are former world champions. And um, this match here, of course, we don't have to really do this, but... It's a little sneak peek of what we got coming up for this line match. And of course, we're two winners of this match. We'll definitely get some momentum going this way. Now, we asked Brock Lesnar earlier, hey, you want to be in a match? Maybe we can do some blocks. Like, no, I got this. I, can, I don't need to be in a match. Before this, I can just wrestle if I want to. Let's wrestle when we get to the line match. We got Dwayne Johnson and Edge starting out for their respective sides. This is going to be a heck of a tag team match right here. Edge starting out early with the Bulldog to Dwayne. Coming out of the gate early. Ooh, now. Edge with a beautiful slam of sorts. Oh. Edge. Bill. I mean, Dwayne fighting Edge off. Great move there. And I'll pick the leg with a dragon screw leg whip. I might be smart to take out the leg of Edge. And Bill with a good whip cord. I mean, lock with a good clothesline. Keep trying to call him Goldberg. I mean, he's off ropes. Edge with a great counter. And a DET. Oh, back and forth this is. Oh, lock with a side whip. Oh, nice sidestep from Edge. Lock dodges big boot. Dodges fun. I whip it to the neutral corner. Same rock on the top rope. What is Edge thinking here? And an arm drag off the second rope. Oh, but Rock able to make tag John Cena. Oh, Edge saw that coming. Here's a picture perfect flapjack. Now going to look on John's. Knee and ankle. Just working on that leg over there. Trying to wear John down. Make sure he can't run. Big boot collapse. Oh, Edge is savoring this, of course. Oh, going for the cover. A giant kicks out. He's not giving up easy. Knee from Edge to John. Tags and Bill Goldberg. Oh, I've been waiting to see this guy. Goldberg with a big boot. John has got nothing going for him. Oh, Bill just stomping away. John able to get back up his feet. Beautiful side headlock. Forearm. Oh! John picks up Bill. Hangs him out on the top rope throat first. Then move there. The kick and the DET. Just keeping this match going quick. Make sure. Bill can't get any momentum going. Tags in the rock. Oh. Great counter from Bill. Oh. Dwayne fighting back though. Oh. Got me roll up and go for a leg submission. Go for a ankle. I mean heel hook. Rock fights him off. Pretty easily though. And Bill decides to just make tight to Edge and oh, rock back up on his feet. Beautiful clothesline from Edge. Going for the cover. Just a one count. Just. John and Dwayne not been able to really do a whole lot. Reverse DDT from Dwayne. He needs to find a way to get back in this match. He has. I spoke too soon. No dragon screw leg whip from Edge. I mean, from Dwayne to Edge. Snap mail. Elbow to the head. Smart move. Oh, Edge just trying to get match going. <gasps> Rock bottom. Rock bottom from 
from... Oh, but he didn't go for the cover. I don't know, that's a smart move. Now, the rock just crank on the edge of his neck and head. And now makes the tag to his buddy John Cena. <laughs> At least the buddies for now. They won't be when they face each other in line match. Edge right back up, fighting back with the chop. And a beautiful slam. They're face first on the mat. Oh, uh, DDT. Every time John's in this, though, he can't get anything going. Close line from Edge. John has not been able to hit any offense in this match. Just, every time he's starting, he just is worn out, man. The Goldberg hits John Cena with close line. And oh, John, oh, beautiful Corona to the big guy. Bill Goldberg. John. In control, wrenching Goldberg's head, neck, trying to just weigh him down. Oh, Goldberg right back up. And it's a belly to belly. Oh, he's fired up. Bill's fired up. He wants this win badly. John crawling up in the corner. And, oh, John blocks the kick. And hits a belly to belly of his own. Uh, John Dragon, Bill away from the ropes. What's he on mind here? Oh, going for a gut wrench. Oh, lifting the big man. The power of John Cena. Nails that picture perfect. Man. Oh, Bill reverse out a trip from John. John's out on the apron. And Bill's trying to bring John back in the hard way with a vertical suplex. John has some momentum going there, but Bill able to get right back on. Oh, nice reversal from John to slay him. And no edge reaching for a tag. John makes the tag to rock. Bill gets the tag to edge. Oh! Rock reverses drop kick. Nice little takedown there. Side rush and leg sweep from the rock. And the fans are loving it. Edge has to retreat to the apron. Oh, Edge fighting back though. He's not getting away without a fight. Rock reverses out of Schwip. Edge back on the apron. Knocks him off the apron. I don't know if this is a good idea. Oh, for these guys outside. Oh, but Edge just nails him with a clothesline. Whew, I think Rock is a little worn out here. Now Edge going to work on Dwayne on the outside. Bill Goldberg had a hard time getting back at his feet, but oh, Rock tosses Edge back in the ring. Good. Let's continue this match. Let's finish this match. Oh, Rock with a beautiful vertical suplex. I got this. Okay. There we go. And hey, the fans are loving it. Rock with a backbreaker. Edge needs a tag. He needs tag desperately. Ankle pick again. What's your leg sweep? Man, Edge is out finding some way to some separation. Another rock bottom. Another rock bottom from the rock. And now he's going for the cover. One, two. Oh, Edge kicks out. Edge kicks out. I can't believe it. Two rock bombs, Edge. He's able to kick out. And the people slam from the rock. But he's not going for the cover. I don't know if that's a good idea. Edge with kick. And the spear. Edge going for the cover. One. Two. Oh. Rock able to kick out. Edge is surprised. He may take Bill Goldberg. He doesn't want to take too many chances. He's already taken two rock bombs and people slam. Oh, uh, rock should have gone for the cover out of that people slam. Rock blocks the kick, turns and tries to screw the bill now. Oh, nice reversal from Goldberg. Oh, but rock back up with a kick and a neck breaker. I think a beauty at that, too. Oh! Now Rock's setting it up. Stripping the sleeve. 
And the most electrifying move in all sports entertainment to people's elbow. Oh, Rock thinks he has it. One, two. Oh, Edge makes a save on time. Oh, man. I thought we were going to see Goldberg get pinned. But Rock, not laying up one bit. Hitting a trifecta of clotheslines on Bill Goldberg. Now, another rock bottom. The fans are loving it. Going for the cover. May have it. One, two. Oh, Edge thought he had it. But just couldn't get there in time. Wow. The rock picking up the wind. That was mainly all Dwayne Johnson right there. Dwayne hit all his big moves multiple times on his opponents. Edge made the save once for Goldberg off that people's elbow, but then the second rock bottom, it was just game. Man. What a match, I mean. But John Cena, he couldn't really get a whole lot going for his side, for him. That was mostly Dwayne Johnson. And now, Goldberg being pinned, you gotta wonder. Rock could very well be... I mean, this could be... I don't know. But Rock picks up the win for his side, basically single-handedly almost. And could he be the one to win that five-way ladder match and earn himself a contract? To WC, for WCW World Chester Wrestling. Oh, uh, that was definitely an amazing match, that's for sure. Well, coming up next, we got uh, Adam Cole coming out to talk about the dissension between the Undisputed Era. Now, recently, Adam Cole's back here dancing like a idiot. Adam, he, he has, he and his buddies, got Riley Bobby Fish, they've been having some problems. Looks like Adam Cole's just right now just caring about himself right now. Um, so recently, Kyle Riley and Bobby Fish, they've been giving him spirit of some trouble. Been the reason he's been losing the past three matches. Mmm. Adam Cole looks like he's taking a big step forward. And what's he going to do, though? I mean, I don't know. Well, Adam's definitely one of those guys. He just, the, Kyle Riley and Bobby Fisher have been trying to help Adam be successful, but Kyle, I mean, Adam's just like saying, yeah, more like you ruined it for me. Ruined all my matches, especially my match against Seth Rollins. Oh. Uh, and, of course, all four men in the Inspirer, all four members of the Inspirer, they're going to be in the Royal Rumble coming up at Chesamania this Saturday, March the 26th. Keep forgetting which Saturday it is. Oh. Uh, and now I'm saying, hey, it's time for action here. The saying he's saying Kyle and Bobby have been poking a bear and now they made him angry. And I'm Cole officially waking up the Undisputed Era. Officially waking up with Kyle Riley and Bobby Fish. 
And this is gonna be heartbreaking for the Undisputed Era. That is for sure. Future is uncertain, but I'm cool making a statement tonight. All right, off to those words from Adam Cole. Let's get back to what we really came here for, wrestling. And, um, we got the big show, Paul White, coming out right now. Um, so, my new life, big show, and Kevin Owens are wrestling this match against the B-Team. Uh, earlier, before the show, last week, Kevin Owens, he kind of... How to talk with us. He was in the saying, hey, look, I I'm sick and tired of this disrespect. The Half of these wrestlers show in the company. We, this is supposed to be a wrestling company, and yet we have so many of these guys um, coming out here, playing dirty, bending the rules. I just, it's sickening. And it was a big show, he came up and said, hey, I'm sick and tired of this too. In fact, we need to give the fans a match. So how about Chesamania, you, me, one on one? And, and so, showing Kevin a wrestling this tag team match against the B team basically has a bit of a tell you learn about each other. Take a look at each other. Study each other, kind of how they wrestle, how each other wrestles, and so so you got Big Show, 450 pounds in the ring right now, big old dude, and Kevin Owens, he he's he's a bit of a biggish guy too, more hovering around the 260, 270 pound mark, but. He, he's a fighter is what he is, and I wouldn't be surprised he ends up winning WCW World Heavyweight Championship when he says, I mean, he, he's, he's always in the title hunt everywhere he goes. Now, but right now, these two guys, where did Kevin go? He just disappeared. Okay, calm down the way. And these two guys, Bo Dallas on the left, Curtis Axel on the right, basically an undercard team. But the thing is, they have experience together. They're one of the more established tag teams here in WCW. They may. Let me take my shirt off real quick. I mean, they've wrestled together for so long as one of the more established tag teams. And even though Kevin Owens and the Big Show are veterans, and Kevin Owens being a former Ring of Honor World Champion, an established tag team like Curtis Saxon and Bo Dallas could very well beat a pair of veterans like Owens and White because they wrestle together, the two. Kevin and Show, this is the first time tagging together. We got Big Show starting out for his side. Curtis Axel's on his side. This is going to be interesting. Huge weight difference between Show and Curtis. And Big Show off to a great start. Look for a powerbomb, maybe? And, nope. Oh, plants. Drops Curtis Axel face first and turn buckle. Curtis Axel will reverse body slam, and ooh, turns it into a DDT. I guess Show should just go for a regular power bomb or something. Now Curtis working on that. You gotta keep the big Show off his feet. He want to win, that's for sure. Ooh, clubbing blow to the back of the neck from Curtis Axel. Big Show is not off to a good start here. I, I thought he'd be off to better start than this. Big Show gets placed in the corner, and Curtis makes a tag to his partner, former NXT Everweight Champion, Bo Dallas. The strength of Curtis Axel, an elbow drop, backbreaker combo, I guess. Bo Dallas going for a cover, having a hard time turning Paul White over. 
Uh, Paul kicks out one. Well, Bo's not liking this too much, but he, he's he's going to the top. I don't know if it's a wise idea early on match. But, ooh, connects with an elbow drop. And Big Show is not doing a really good job right off the bat. He's, he's hurt. Bo makes tag to Curtis. I keep the experience Curtis and Bo have together is something else. Oh, show if I'm able to fight Curtis off. Now what's he playing here? Dragon Curtis to the corner. Makes a tag to Kevin. Let's see what he got. Ooh. Beautiful strike to ribs. Oh, Curtis fighting back though. Let's see what he got in mind here. Ooh, stomp to the chest. Curtis Axel is just unloading right now. Great reversal from Kevin Owens. Snap mirror. Oh, but Curtis, elbow to the stomach, fighting coming off, and a big boot. Curtis and Bowie, they, they, they've been watching these guys or something. Curtis makes a tag to Bo Dallas. Oh, Kevin up with a shoulder block. Shoulder tackle. Makes a tag to the Big Show. They're trying to save himself, I guess. Now, oh, Luthas Plus from Big Show. That just... Just mulling Dallas. I'm sure I'm going for a clawed shoulder. Just trying to wear Bo Dallas down. Trying to get back in this match. Big show. What's he doing here? Climbing to the top row, Bow. Usually that big show's forte. He's not a flying man or anything. But oh, just lays into him a big splash. 450 pounds. Of muscle and possibly some fat. Not like I'm calling Big Show fat or anything. Show whips Bo Dallas off ropes into a boss man slam. I've always loved boss man slam. Oh, Bo Dallas fighting back. Show with the kick. And oh, missing with the clothesline, but he hits the referee. And Bo Dallas striking back with elbows to Big Show's head. Finally, I can make sure down on the third one. Make him up, and then that's a good idea. Oh, show just tosses Bo off him like a rag doll. Show Bo, man, that rhymes. <laughs> big show with a big elbow, Dallas' neck. Now, front face lock, does it again, the elbow. Oh, Bo Dallas in the corner. Oh, Bo Dallas, great reversal. But Kevin was able to make a tag. Which, that, that's been a smart move. Save the Big Show from future more damage. Bo whips Kevin off the ropes. Again. And, ooh, big back body drop. Kevin Owens not been able to do a whole lot either, but he's staying in the side of whip into the B team's corner. Let's see what Bo here. Oh, whips him into Show's corner. Show makes a tag. Bad move from Bo Dallas. Shoulder tackle from Big Show. He ain't got a bit of weight to start off that move. The show, ooh, a little disrespect stepping on Bo Dallas's chest there. And that is disrespect right there. Alright, Show plays some Bo in the corner. Bo fighting out though. And then we first DDT from Bo Dallas. Go for the cover. One. Ooh, Big Show kick it out. Fairly easy. Big Show's been taking a lot of damage. He, he, he's got to attack Kevin Owens. Go whips Paul White into B Team Square. Oh! Show reverses it. Able to whip Bo into his corner before Curtis Axel will make tag. Now, Big Show doing damage to Bo Dallas. Now, let's show round nine. Oh, Bo Dallas will be outside. Climbing back in. Bo Dallas fighting back hard. Show tosses, shoves Bo to the ground. Great move there. Now what? Places him in the corner. And makes a tag to Kevin Owens. 
Mmm, striking to Scott again. Now Kevin. Wasting a little time. Blazing. Bo Dallas in the corner. And tossing him around. Oh, Kevin going for the cover here. Interesting. One, two. Because Axel breaks it up. Good. Oh, but show right on him. And, ooh, full Nelson slam. And yes, I am still here. Why? Do you ask? <laughs> because Axel, an abdominal stretch to knee to the neck. Going for the cover. One, two, three. Kevin Owens picking up the win for his side. Wow. So that was a great match there. I mean, well, that was close to actual beating. They pretty much had that match from beginning to end. But, in the end, um, Kevin Owens able to hit the abdominal stretch, the pump handle slam into a knee to neck, and picking up the win. And folks, these two will face each other at Chesselmania this Saturday, March the 26th. It's going to be interesting to see, interesting to see you once Folks, we have a very special specialty match we coming up next. Fatal four-way match between the Brian Kendrick Mojo Wally, Titus O'Neil, and Johnny Gargano. That's coming up next. Man. Loving every minute of this here in Daytona. Who we got coming out first? Mojo Wally coming out first. An excellent wrestler in his own right, but. Mojo Wally, he's been looking for his moment in the spotlight. And, um, he, he says he's been overlooked by management recently. He says, hey, it's my time to shine. He's a bit of a no-nonsense guy, that's for sure. He's one of them guys, he's like Roman Reigns. Go in, get the job done, get out. You know, he's, he's ready for this match, I can tell. And, um, oh, yes, Titus O'Neil, one of my personal favorite wrestlers in this fatal four-way, former, formerly played football for the Florida Gators and the Jacksonville Jaguars, at least before Tony Khan and AEW became a thing, but, Was uh, Titus O'Neil ever uh, playing for the Gators when uh, Tim Tebow was playing for them? I don't remember. Was he? He could have been. But Titus O'Neil, big guy. He just... He's probably one of the favorites to win this, that's for sure. He's got... It's hard to stop a big guy in a fatal four-way. A multi man match. Leg it on the roll, leg it on the roll. And we got Brian Kendrick coming out here. Of course, Brian, one of the premier high flyers of this uh, company. Uh, he's the wrestler who innovated the sliced bread number two move, who popularized that move. And can't wait to act. I can't wait to see him in AEW. I heard he signed with the company, uh, but he, he sent me that I keep. He sent me a guy to keep an eye on. He, he's been around forever. It's gonna be interesting to see what he does. And uh, I've been waiting for this guy, Johnny Gargano, Mr. Wrestling. Johnny Wrestling, a guy who. People, so many people look up to. He he's got a heart for wrestling. 
Um, Cleveland native, just he he loves wrestling. He's he calls himself Johnny Wrestling. He is one of those guys that he can. Always put out a good match no matter what. He's definitely the favorite to win this. But hey, in a fatal four-way, you never know. But Jargano's a bit of a veteran in the ring, so we'll, we'll see. No four of these wrestlers in the ring. And let's get the show on the road. All right. Let's see what happens here. Alright, Tyus O'Neill going up against John Gigano and Mojo Wally going up against Brian Kendrick. Mojo Wally playing a ground game against Brian Kendrick. And oh, great reversal from Johnny Gigano. Ooh! To a and Johnny, oh, going for a submission with Tyus O'Neill early. But, oh man, this may actually be a good move. Oh! Mojo Wally finally able to break things up with a drop kick. Missed the first time, but not the second time. See what these boys have in mind here. John Gargano dumping Tyson on the to the outside. Mojo Wally placing Mike Kendrick on the ropes. Off the ropes. Beautiful takedown. And John Gargano Tyson Neal fighting on the outside. Mojo Wally scooping. Brian Kendrick up and just slam him down. Moj Tyson really has got great control of John Jagger right now. On the outside. Beautiful STO on the outside. And Mojo picks up Brian Kendrick, plays him face first to the turn buckle. Johnny tosses Titus back in the ring. You gotta win these these matches in the ring. And Titus, I know he's out. Oh, dumps Jargano back to the outside. And now going after Mojo Wally with a little arm crank. And Brian Kendrick breaks it up. <laughs> we'll over that, but Titus immediately going for a gut wrench. Now Jargano staying on Kendrick. Great reversal from Kendrick, though. He got messed up on that. Off the ropes. Into the corner goes Kendrick. Uh, what's 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 Jargon on your mind here? You fool. Snap me one hand. To a drop kick to the back of the neck. Ties going right back after Jargon. Say those suplex brings him down. And Tyus doing a little show button for the fans. Goes right back after Mojo Wally. Mojo dodges big boot. Dodges the clothesline. Whips him in the corner. Roughly goes down. And Jogano with a side suplex of his own to Titus O'Neil. Fending off Mojo Wally. Nice kick. Let's see how he'll... A... We... Ooh! <laughs> we're going to reverse TDT into a bit of a... Spin neckbreaker. Brian Kendrick fending off John Jogano. Super kick! Brian Kendrick back on top. Big... Boot or pump kick, whatever. Oh, Mojo Wally went away from Ryan. Going to the outside. Oh, got him. Big back suplex. Smart move from Mojo. Mojo fights off Titus O'Neill. Titus able to toss Mojo into the steel steps. No, Mojo fights off Titus. Only to meet a head scissors from the Brian Kendrick. Unless, ooh, Jargano breaking up a head crank. I don't know if that's a smart idea, but I, I, I can respect it. Brian tossing Mojo into the steps. Jargano waiting for someone to get back in the ring. Can, ooh! Jargano playing Titus O'Neil. Great move there. Both good guys going back inside the ring. Jargano, Irish whips Titus in the corner. And go up top. Oh, so can now, fans. One, two. 
Man, um, Wally and Kendra just fighting Wally outside, didn't they? They are just, they mean business, man. Mojo with a jawbreaker. Pick it up, big man. So we gotta get all that in mind now. Oh, that's reversal from Tyus O'Neal. Picks him up. Unless he got in mind here. Face first in the corner goes Gargano. Oh, into steps goes Mojo Wally. Oh, crushing the Titus for Tyson Neal. One, two. Oh, tight. Gargano kicks out at two. Oh, that would be huge drops that there. Oh, uh, Titus sitting on Gargano. Toss him outside the ring. Wally with a beautiful suplex to Brian Kendrick. They're setting things up. Let me look for his finishing maneuver. What's this? Oh! Whatever that was. Now yeah, what? Oh! Does it again? Going for the cover. What? Two. Three. Mojo Wally picking up the win. Wow. Great fatal four way they are just Man nothing bad to say about that. Titus O'Neill hitting the clash of Titus on Gargano. Looked like he had it, but Gargano able to kick out the Mojo Wally hitting his finishing maneuver on the Brian Kendrick. And that, that was a bit of a deadly combo there, but Mojo he he picks up the win. And he, he's got some momentum going to the Royal Rumble, which will happen at Chesselmania. Where we have a 30-man Royal Rumble, Chesselmania. We're going to get a shot at the WCW World Heavyweight Championship champion, which will be held by either Samoa Joe, Finn Balor, or um, Seth Rollins. And all four of these men... In this fatal four way, they will be in the Royal Rumble. That is a guarantee. And folks, coming up next, we get back to tournament action as um as the Usos and the Revival battle each other in a semi-final match for the WCW World Tag Team titles to determine who will, will face the Hardy Boys. This Saturday at Chesselmania. Man. How about Mojo Wally pick up that win that Fatal 4-Way? Definitely a great match there. But hey, we got the Usos out here now. And they've come this far. They are ready. Entering the semifinals of this tag team title tournament. I'm, I'm not too surprised um, how they got here. They beat, um, they beat some of the house parties, Kalisto and Sin Cara in the first round. And then they beat the Good Brothers, Carlos and Luke Gallows in the second round, even though they went out by count out, which they a questionable win, but basically saving themselves for this match. And you guys say the Usos are definitely one of the favorites to win this. No doubt about that in my mind. Oh, that, they're, they're always hyped up, man. Hyped up to any Russell. Um, but their opponents, the Revival, Scott Dawson, Dash Wilder, you, you, they wrestle a heck of a match against the authors of Pain in the second round. With Scott Dawson finally winning with a chop block on, I forget which one it was, Cam Ozar. But their first round win against the Street Profits, you, you gotta bet the Street Profits are watching these guys. You know the Street Profits, they want some revenge against the Revival won just a fair one one fair two and two match. Revival's like, hey, it hey Mario, we beat you. Suck it up. And now they have entered this semifinal contest against 
the Usos for WCW World Tag Team titles. The winner of this match will face the Hardy Boys at WrestleMania this Saturday. We got Jey Uso and Scott Dawson starting this match off. Scott with a beautiful uh, takedown there. Makes Tag Dash Wilder. And drop kick from Dash. Beautiful. Makes Tag back to Scott. I'm making quick tags here trying to keep the Usos off the game. I just rip off the ropes from Scott. Into a spine buster. And Scott was in very low time. They, they got to keep this match moving. They want to win. To a control the arm. Into a northern light suplex. Jay Uso was hurt. No, it'll, it'll take a lot. Bring him down. Uso finally responded with a kick. Nice little takedown there. Finally gets Scott on the ground. And Uso, the double on the hook slam. Finally getting some momentum going for his side. Another one. Good night. Jay Uso's on fire. But Scott Dawson has to call the ropes to get himself back up. Oh, nice reversal from Scott. And of Luthez Press. No, John Cena likes that move. Uso right back up. Knocks him down forearm. Oh, Scott Dawson with a nice, well placed kick playing possum there. Makes Tag Dash Wilder. Trying to save himself for later after taking quite a bit of damage there. Oh, Uso with a neck breaker though. Dash hasn't been able to do anything yet, but he's still the fresher of the two, that's for sure. Kick from Uso. DDT. Jay is a house of fire right now. Irish whip into the Uso's corner. Makes the tag to his brother Jimmy. What do they got here? The assistant to a Samoan drop. Also known as the Alice. Jimmy Uso going for the cover. <gasps> a Dash Waller basically kicks out effortlessly. Uso, wasting very little time. Front face lock. Into a snap suplex. A Dash Waller will make the hot tag to Scott Dawson. Jimmy makes tag back to Jay. Nice takedown from Uso. Scott right back up to his feet though. Clawing at the eyes of Jey Uso. And a full melt. Oh! Full dragon suplex right there. Beautiful move. And Jey Uso kicks out of cover at one. Sky knows he's got to find a way to get back control of this match. Stay in control. Uso dodges the pump handle. I mean, axe handle. Headbutt. Makes a tag to Jimmy. Now. Front face lock from Jimmy. Oh! Dodges the elbow into a knee. Jay makes the tag. I whip off the ropes. Samoan drop. Many of these are on fire. It's just. Scott Austin's find, gotta find a way to get some offense going. Snap suplex from Uso. I believe that's Jay in the ring right now. I believe Jay's a legal man. But he makes a tag to Jimmy. The Usos just stay in control. They're veterans that they are. Now Jimmy dragging Jay to the corner. Where they got mine. Oh, that's nice reversal from Scott. Big kick. Now what's Scott got in mind here? Ooh, big boot. In the corner, right to the face. A chop block! Ooh, that's the move that took out the authors of pain. That could be it. Scott thinks he has it. Two. Oh! But Jimmy Uso kicks out at two. Scott, wasting very little time, makes tag to his trusty partner, Dash Wilder. This match has not been pretty for the revival, but. 
They're back in this drop kick from Dash as you so down. And now Dash will get in mind here. Oh, makes tag to Scott Dawson, but Uso, Jimmy Uso, but make tag Jane Jane with a nice little take. I'm going to tag Scott back in was a wise decision there, but I guess it works. Uso saying, "Well, wow, Scott Dawson, oh, Scott back in this match with Luthes Press." Now Scott, knowing how hurt he is, no, he thought making tag. But now, he's making the cover. Well, that might not be a good idea right there. Zuso kicks out one. He should have gone for the cover earlier or not. But, Dawson, just... Just don't know what to do. Oh, he's going for a clover wave or something? Or oh, reverse figure four. Uso in trouble. He may tap. Ah. Oh. Jimmy breaks up the cover. Scott going for a cover. Oh, Jimmy Uso breaks up the tag right at the last possible second. Now, Scott wasting very little time. He knows what he needs to do to win this match. Placing Uso in the corner makes tag dash well. Let's see what these boys can do here. Oh. Scott going right back to figure four. Dash kicks the leg. Oh, man. Dash Wilder working on the leg of Jimmy Uso, or Jerry, whichever one it is. I was going to say that's Jimmy. No, Jerry, I mean. Jerry, revo nice reversal layer. Uh, on DDT. Nice. Now, let's use a little man here. Some damage to the back of Dash Wilder. I uh, say so keep Dash Wilder and there's some more. Now, Uso going for a sleeper hole. Oh, Dash Wilder. But Dash will fight out with a bit of a stunner. Yes, Uso. Oh, Uso fights out of that front face lock. Super kick! Oh, way out of the. Out of nowhere. Jimmy makes tag by Jimmy. And now going for the cover. One, two. Oh, Wilder able to kick out right on time. Uh, has the damage been done? Oh, no. Oh, nice reversal from Dash Wilder. Now, setting him up for a suplex. He hits it. Revival has not been able to do a whole lot, but they know what they're doing. Ooh. Driving the leg of Jimmy Uso to the mat. And now, double axe handle to the face. A gr to a grounded Jimmy Uso. Makes a tag to Scott Dawson. Let's see what Scott can do here. Maybe he can... Uso stay... Revival stay on the Usos. Scott did more damage to that arm. Makes a tag back to Dash. And Jimmy Uso rolls out of the ring. Time's like an... Ooh! It's a neck breaker from Dash Wilder. And a beauty of that too. Tag mate Scott. It's like the revival new rate job now. Oh, Jimmy Uso right back up. Oh. And does this like that? Oh, roll up from Scott. Roll up from Scott. One. Oh. Uso <laughs> did not see that coming. Oh. Blocks the kick. They're trying to screw like whip. Oh, man. The Usos could very well be one step away from winning this match. Tossing Scott to the outside. This is where the Revival likes to be. But I know it's a good idea. Kick in the DDT on the outside, Scott. And now what? Oh! You're still going for a submission on the outside, but you're not going to win by submission on the outside. You got to get back in the ring before you win by submission there. But Uso, not letting down. <gasps> Scott's tapping, but it's still outside. Well, it, 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 it still may do some thing. Oh, and Scott tossing Uso off the apron and then to steel steps. He's back in this match. 
Oh, Scott is, uh, be careful here. What's the counter? I can tell. Oh, and it's a double kill out! Oh, no! Oh, no! Wow. Well, a double count out. Oh, man. The Revival and the Usos just fighting back and forth mainly. And now they both lose by count out. It's a draw. I want to say we start the match, but I just... Oh, this is hard, man. And you know what? There's only one answer for this. A triple threat match. At Chesselmania. Yes, people. I said it. We are going to be doing a triple threat tag team match. Likely going to be a tornado tag match. At Chesselmania. Between Usos, The Revival, and the Hardy Boys, the winner of that match will become the first ever WCW World Tag Team Champions. Oh man, after this, oh man, things just got a whole lot harder for the Hardy Boys. But hey, all in an effort to make WrestleMania the best it can be. And folks, coming up next is our main event. Finn Balor vs. Samoa Joe, the winner of that match, will battle Seth Rollins at Chesselmania. I cannot wait. So it's right now. After that surprising loss that the use of the revival had, that disappointing finish, it's now going to be a triple threat match for WCW World Tag Team titles at Chesselmania. Between the Usos, the Revival, and the Hardy Boys. And right now, it's our main event. Right here, the Finn Balor coming out. And he is just... He has been on a roll. In this tournament. First match, he beat... First round match, he beat Bobby Lashley. And I, I still cannot forget that Cody Guard did Bobby Lashley from top rope to the outside. I mean, that was amazing. And then that would be the very game Kofi Kingston in the second round. He's beaten the pair of very good veterans so far and he's only and right now he, he's got to face Samoa Joe so facing so with him facing Bobby Lashley you know he has experience beating big man so he could definitely use his match against Bobby Lashley to see what he did right and try to beat Samoa Joe you gotta imagine, Bauer has got to be my favorite to win this. He's shown no signs of quit. I mean, he, he's definitely got what it takes to win this. That is for sure. I... And also, he could beat Seth Rollins this Saturday for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. I think he could. Oh, man. But how about Brock Lesnar? Yes, silly people. I'm talking about Samoa Joe. He pulled off the upset of the year when he beat so when he beat Brock Lesnar in the first round for WCW World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. And then the second round, he beat his old TNA rival, 
AJ Styles and you think Finn Balor's on the roll? Samoa Joe could he, he could really be a bit of an underdog here. Maybe. I mean, he's got a chance. I never thought he'd come this far, but He knows he's got a match to win. And both times he's won with the Coquina Clutch. And both times, once he gets that move locked in, you don't get out. Is that a tap or snap? Alright, it's main event time, people. Here we go! Oh, nice drop from Samoa Joe self match. Fireman's carry into a Samoan drop. Oh, Battle Dodgers a kick to the back. But I got for him, like, T-bone suplex from Joe. Joe off to a great start so far. Big kick right to the face. Joe got in there one bit. A tossing Bauer up and over. The Bauer rolls to the outside. Smart better instinct. Oh, a Joe taking it to the outside now. Joe with no famous killing. There's some moment drop on the outside. Oh, Bowler's right back up, though. He's fighting back. He's right back hard. Oh, Joe able to get back, right back on top. Another famous killing. Another Samoan drop. Now be careful. That that's as much. Get caught up, boys. Joe gets back in the ring. Oh, six. Joe decides to get climb back out and reset the count. Respect, man. And Joe with a beautiful back suplex to the outside. Bowler's gotta find some way to get back to this match. I just I just don't know. Oh Bowler fighting back. Oh Mongolian chops from Joe ill bustling blade from Bowler. He's back in this match. Bowler climbs back in the ring. Just basically trying to cause some separation and resets the count, slam back in. Oh, Joe tosses Bowler back in the ring. And maybe, yeah, finally getting back this match back inside the ring. Oh, Bowler whips Joe off the ropes into a DDT. And a beauty at that, too. Bowler's out finding a way to weigh the big man down. That's not going to be easy. Oh, Bowler with a play like kick, but Joe does not go down. Joe with a big knee. And a, whoa, sling blade from Bowler again. Oh, what's Bowler in mind? Snap mail. Drop kick right between shoulder blades. And Bowler finally found a way to get back in this match. Flatliner. Flattens Samoa Joe. What Bowler got in mind here? Can't slow this match down. Bowler, short DET. Just. I don't know. Oh, Joe with nice reversal. I think Bowler's going for a body slam now. Joe, chop to the back. Kick to the chest. He loves that combo. Now, Joe. German suplex hooking the arms before doing so. Now, Joe thinks he has it. Oh, Bowler right back up, though. Bowler with a kick and a DDT. Got Joe off guard, then. And Bowler flexing for the fans. Now Bowler knocking Joe around a few times. Sling blade. Great combination there. Now, what's Bowler there in mind? He's out of front. Oh, whipping Joe into the corner. Oh, size him up. Looking for it, the shotgun drop kick. He hits it. That could be it. That could be it. Oh, Bowler's not done. He is not done. Climbing to the top, looking for the Cody Ground. Misses. Joe gets right back up. Bowler though, sitting on Joe with Snapmare. Drop kick right between the shoulder blades. Great main event we've had so far. Neither back in the back from Bowler. Joe right back up though. 
Balor right like back on top of DDT. Oh, but Balor, he, he's worn out. He, he's, he knows he has to end this match quickly. Enzigiri takes out Joe. Balor going back up top. What's he thinking here? Elbow drop right to the back. Balor, starting to fly again. What's he got in mind here? Another elbow drop. But Joe right back up though. Oh, nice takedown. <gasps> Let go get a clutch. Let go get a clutch. That's it. Who's down there? Down there. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, Balor's trying to fight. He's trying to fight. But Joe has got that locked in tight. And Balor taps. Then Balor taps. Wow. Once again, Samoa Joe winning with the Coquina Clutch after suffering a beatdown from Finn Bauer. And he got lucky dodging that Cody Grant. He knew he had to dodge that if he were to have a chance. Finally, just almost out of nowhere walking in that Coquina Clutch. Bauer struggled to fight, but once Joe locks in that Coquina Clutch, it's either tap or snap. And now Samoa Joe is advancing to the finals of the WCW World Heavyweight Championship match, the tournament, against Seth Rollins. This Saturday, people are gonna wait to see you there on Saturday. It is going to be amazing. And folks, we'll see you then. Till then, stay safe, have fun, God bless America.